are very much concerned that the British government and the American government uh, is so far away from their commitments to human rights which they are now uh, declining. I mean, it's a negation of all the human rights. And uh, as Western countries, uh, we are com convinced that we can be only credible on our sayings about freedom of speech and freedom of the press if we stop persecuting journalists like uh, Julian Assange. In a historic vote on July 6, the German parliament voted in favor of a petition condemning in the strongest possible terms the psychological torture of journalist Julian Assange and the associated attack on press freedom in Germany and Europe. The decision came after years of campaigning by German MPs from various factions for the release of Assange. Now the parliamentarians are calling for the federal government to end its inaction respect the vote of the Bundestag and urge its partners in the US and UK to end the political persecution of Julian Assange. We do have a consensus in Germany and uh, I would say in the most of the European Union countries, like of course except uh, the UK government uh, apparently, uh, we do have cross-party parliamentary groups called Freedom for Julian Assange in the German parliament, in France, in Italy, in Greece, in Austria, in many, many uh, European countries. In Germany, we do have a consensus everywhere, the journalists, media outlets, writers, uh, politicians uh, and publishers, they are all for the freedom of Julian Assange and we members of the German parliament, we were very absolutely clear no to the extradition and even the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe was uh, very clear, absolutely clear, no to the extradition as well. And uh, we are very much concerned that the British government and the American government uh, is so far away from their commitments to human rights which they are now uh, declining. I mean, it's a negation of all the human rights. And uh, as Western countries, uh, we are com convinced that we can be only credible on our sayings about freedom of speech and freedom of the press if we stop persecuting journalists like uh, Julian Assange. Julian Assange is not a criminal, Julian is a hero. He made war crimes by the U.S. administration in Iraq, in Afghanistan, public. Uh, he should get uh, the Nobel Peace Prize and not jail for uh, his, um, his all the days. And uh, that's why we are very much concerned. It's a threat to all the journalists, all the publishers, uh, and everyone actually who believes in democracy and human rights. That's why I'm here and calling my decent citizen decent um, journalists and decent um, colleagues of the Congress in, the, in Washington to stand up for freedom, for liberty and for the human rights. Uh, we are worried actually a little bit why it is like this that the country of the First Amendment, the country who is so strictly, so strong in regarding freedom of the speech and freedom of press, is hiding and not saying anything on this issue and this case. Because in Europe, as I said, a lot of parliamentarians cross party from conservative, liberals, Greens, Social Democrats and leftists, they all are concerned in this case and I wish, if I would have a wish here in the States, I wish my colleagues in the House of Representatives and the Senate will uh, start protest this uh, grave threat to freedom of speech and freedom of the press. On 3rd July, Julian Assange's birthday, Several demonstrations were held in cities across the world demanding his release. Ce qui est le plus scandalisant pour le pour les Français et pour le monde entier, c'est que si on poursuit un journaliste pour avoir fait son travail de journaliste, qui osera au travers le, du monde entier révéler des informations qui gêneraient les États-Unis d'Amérique Quel journaliste osera
Mexican President Andres Manuel López Obrador called on the U.S. authorities to drop the charges against Assange in a statement. He said that during his upcoming visit to Washington on July 12, he will discuss the issue with his counterpart Joe Biden.